as normal, second time. So stars will wait till later, but it's there because it can't fit in this. This is my old storage, my crate, which is where I used to store my finals. I'm gonna use this. Eventually, I want to download this on my new computer, kind of move it to my bed, like have a, have a better kind of video then, but come on, I'm gonna start here. Take so that off, I'm gonna show you it. So, okay. So the first one, so I went to record so day in August, and yeah, changes now. Um, so yeah. This battery is was changed from the original changes one, and it was changed from the, and it was changed from changes two. So yeah, this is not. This is not what you think. This is not like what was after like. So if you know his like his kind of disc pop new romance ever as or the '90s experimental one. Nope. This is a broadcast of old songs. Not this is not the list from, list from it. I can check with uh, my grandma's house as he owns it. With like the musician for the class, as well as this picture of Gabe Barrow with English thing. Maybe this was made during he was recording his album Earth, which is very English. So surprisingly there's no just to changes on it, despite it for being called to changes now, Bowie. So to get ranged. So the ones I was trying to get was this, the Elton John and King's Chronicles. But I think this was the only one I got. I'm okay with that because luckily with this one there's tons. So guess what I put? No, you can't. Like, um, I got another Bowie one which I wasn't planning to get for some reason, but there's an as well as Lennon Instant. So we decided not to get any singles at first because they were the prices were ripped off. Fine, get it fine. The price is at like five pounds. It. Yeah, so like this includes the intercom song plus who has seen me win, which is a oh no song. This is pro play a lot, you should play this one now and play this for quite a while, to say now. I think this is from I think the instant comments from the new compilation that's coming out called Give Me Some Truth. I don't know if I'm gonna pick it up. Like I have every song on C D with my box set, you know, you know, the Lennon signature box it as well as some shades of fish on vinyl meaning it might not be good but it are remixes but the instant but this is part of it and i'm glad it on it but oh no who has seen the word i'm not a biggest fan of yoko but of the music but and this is good but it's is this a remix or is, is it the original is this a remix exclusive why are you gonna put like oh no song and give me some truth i do believe that this is an exclusive Mix. No, you should be proud to own that. Um, now we get Bowie and Morning Dancing Soul Tour. So this was recorded about the um the kind of Soul Tour period, which was part of his Diamond Dogs. This was like at the end of it. He was, it was kind of like the Soul Tour across North America. It has like the track listing. So you can find um if you want to have the entire tour. I think this is the last show. But if you want the entire tour documented, there is um there's a one called David Life. Now there is now there are box sets that he's released, and this is um no there's not the last it's just later. Basically, basically you can get that on that. It's a part of the box set with another mix, but this is like one of the concerts that they recorded and they decided to release it. I would say, how am I going to place this? Because unlike most people, I put it in the order of the lease, I could do that. But the day about it's more chronological, like I don't have the boxes with the first one being unreleased. Then, you could, you could have, you could have like the compilations kind of stacked in the middle. And following that with the other ones you own. And then you can have the mixes, but like these just before it. But that doesn't make sense. I want to do it chronological. So if I didn't have it, just put it. So between, so after two David Lives in your box set, just place this one after that. But no, I'm gonna keep it in the box set. So um, it'll just come before. Okay. Now the records aren't there. They're just. I'll show you one label, but I'll just put it back. Okay, I can't get it out. Sorry, I can't get it out. 
But then I got this. It was a pop-up shop. Got a few things there. I think it's a pop-up shop. It, like, it doesn't seem like one that's going to stay here. So there wasn't really any finals. I did get a box set, which is technically Bowie. It isn't any of his music. It's the soundtrack to the film he started, The Man Who Fell to Earth. It's the sound, it's the OST to that, the original soundtrack. So I don't know if you count that. But yeah, if I did have that out, I would just call this Bowie plus some more. Say so some bigger Bowie. But I got, I did get some, I had to get some bootlegs like, what's the concerts like? A Van Morrison one, a Paul Simon, Simon Garfunkel one, I should say, as well as one for Cloud House. Like so this is a CD box set of their last song, Endless Road, which is basically instrumentals. Except for the last song, and it is in a Floyd album in my mind. It's a instrumental album. Is that? Right, I want to know. And it includes a CD and a DVD, and it includes a booklet, which actually is backwards from how it is. Like you have, you just have like, kind of shackles and then you have like, and then you guess that what it is, and then you can have just pictures, and the like, coming of the Endless River, and the previous album, Delusion Bell, which it was just crap instrumentals from that that they had, and I think it's what it is. I don't, I don't know if this was written for money or a tribute of Richard Wright. I don't know. I don't know at all. I just love the track listening to Louder Than Words. Then we just have in here some art cards. This one, I think, Nick Mason and David Gilmore, and one of the creatures from the Delusion Bill. Like, it's many covers. Then we have the CD and the DVD. So, yeah, this is a good pack. And, um, that's, and this is cheap and again not on vinyl. So, I'm glad they own this because this is probably what I'm going to get out of the album. It doesn't have the pink like, thing, the issue thing. And if it actually doesn't, and it's just the website, they don't have it on. Maybe this might be where I get it and I own the rest of the album. Okay, now a one. There's one record I got the next week. I didn't we get anything until Sasuke. Mm, the Clash, London, Gar, and do the forest. Um, it's a double album, and I got a pretty good deal if you count that some of the songs did. If the songs didn't skip sometimes, I would actually say this was a pretty good deal. So it's like the lyrics and things like that. It was a cool, but it's for one that doesn't work. So the deal was, it was th it was seventy pounds when it was originally thirty, and, was, um, and some were selling at forty pounds. So I got a pretty good deal with this. And and even though there's some Bon Jovi ones, actually, I'll probably get the new ones soon. Uh, they say this is actually a better one than Bon Jovi or something. Now we take that away because nothing is in there. We get my stylus one. So I'm gonna write my three. Okay, so, you know, the past two, I got the one of Senka Chances, which had Led Zeppelin 2, obviously they can have it, and Talking Heads more, songs about building and food, yeah, weird title. Next we have my, and then we have the one for Free, I'm talking about food, which had Iggy Pop's Lost for Life. And um, Rooker T and the MG's melting pot. But what will be in here? Well, I think I have it. Let's just see. Okay, firstly, we have my. So I'm going to show you. So Embers, which is the new one, and there were 60, and it was pretty much perfect. Anyone I would got, I would be satisfied. Cal Santa's California Nation. <laughs> so the their pick is the LA Woman, which I have. That's it. As well as Red Hot Chili Peppers California Nation. My mom probably doesn't agree that it that it's better than By the Way and was and even though it was just so um, it's that great. We have this interview. The magazine didn't come for some reason. But basically they have interviews and some facts. Did you know it's been 49 years since the Doors released LA Woman? I knew that. It came out in 1971. It'll probably get a 50th anniversary box set. I knew that. During the year the, the band were together, the Beatles recorded 213 songs. And actually two if you add on 
the original Love Me Do and the other Get Back So Yeah, I knew that. Four years after the passing of frontman Freddie Mercury, Queen released their final album, Made Heaven. I knew that, but now we get into one I have not heard. 89,385 copies of American Days, Sequel to Fact, eh, American Idiot was sold in its first week. Nirvana's in, no, Never Air eh, in Oriental has makes up sales of more than 15 million worldwide. 2020 marks 40 years since George Fisher's Alex McTrackley took his own life. Love would tell us apart. So what did I get? Now I have the doors LA women, not much in the sleeves. It's kind of like the regular sleeve with the kind of thing around it. Just like with the original doors of China. Now here's the other one. The Smiths, Strange Ways, Here We Come. Yeah, okay, my dad doesn't really like them, but yeah, this is good. But again, I would be satisfied anyway, and I also think mom predicted it. See, she said Muse, this was after Muse, and she said Queen, this was after Queen. So, it's, it's pretty coincidence. Or maybe she's, uh, it's not like, yeah, but goodbye. So don't forget to like, subscribe, sh uh, bring that notification bell. Um, like, uh, okay. uh, share and leave a comment of an album I should get. Okay, goodbye.